Alright guys, this is part two of the video. Um, once we have um, everything installed in here, now you're going to be saying to yourself, now what the hell do I do? And that's exactly what I said to myself. I, After building it, I guess I just wanted to build it and get that out the way, get that feeling out the way. Now comes the real tricky part for some people. For me, I'm those people. I don't know a lot about uh, computers. So if you have a Mac like I do and you don't have a Windows, a Windows computer at home, try to download the Windows creation tool it's it's not going to appear in, in your windows so you just have to download um, windows to your um, to your mac once it's installed you're going to try and copy and paste all those files to a usb but it's not going to let you it's not going to let you because uh, you have to change the format on the usb to x fat i believe once you change the format uh, i'll put it right here you have to change it to to this uh, once once you change it, um, it's gonna let you download all the files uh, to the USB that you have downloaded from the Windows Creation on the Windows Media um, website. So once you have downloaded the the Windows to a USB, now comes the tricky part. See if I don't mess up anything, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and power this baby on and see if it works. Let's get it going. Ah! That's not even satisfying at all. See if it picks it up, so let's check it out. Turns on nicely. Error. Turn it off again. <laughs> Error, upper loading operating systems. All right, boys. We are here at the Windows. Um, I got finally got this um, USB going. Um, let me tell you a little something. After I install this real quick, because I don't want it to turn off. Okay, uh, this is your normal Windows um, screen. US key keyboard input into your language. Okay, next. Install now. Uh, all right, guys. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why I was having trouble installing Windows on the new. Uh, computer build because I, w I have a Mac I tried to install it from there to a USB it just did not work guys if you have a Mac uh, you know what I'm talking about but if you have a, a Windows laptop Windows PC whatever uh, you, you'll have no problem downloading Windows to your uh, USB flash drive but I had to go to my mother-in-law's to go download it from their computer they have Windows um, it took about 30 minutes it was a hassle guys if you have a Mac uh, you know what I'm talking about talking about but uh, let's get on with the um, setup and let me show y'all what, what I have going on here, okay? Um, this is where you would activate your key. Uh, I don't have a product key. All it's gonna do is gonna do 10, okay? Next, 64-bit, uh, okay? Next, term, accept the terms. I don't know why you wouldn't. Okay, upgrade, no, custom install Windows only, okay? I'm gonna install it there on my 500 gigabyte SSD next okay now it's copying Windows wow it's copying Windows right here just let it let it let it do its thing it's fairly fast but I mean I'm so glad I got it to work I was th already thinking it was my motherboard it was not compatible it was this and that other things but uh, no it was just um, you just can't download Windows from a Mac computer, okay? Just don't try it. Find a friend, family member that has that has Windows, go to their house, do it for free. Get it so you can get that step over with and install Windows, guys. So, um I'm going to let this install for a little bit and we're gonna, we're going to continue with the build. All right, boys, we are it booted up. Uh this thing booted up uh twice. So, don't panic, don't mess with it. Let it let it do its thing. Um it's going to take you here after it resets about twice. Let me choose United States. Yes, just a moment. US, want to add a second keyboard? I don't have internet. There is more to discover to the, okay, now continue with limited um, setup right here. Your location, no, not now. Just a moment, hi. 
Okay, by the way, this this gaming uh, monitor is filthy, by the way. Oh, this might take several minutes. Do not turn off your PC. And we are in, boys. Check it out. Windows fresh install. Searching for display driver. Searching for the uh, appropriate dri drivers for it to install. As soon as I connect this thing to the internet, it's going to do it all by itself. And install the, its latest drivers for it to function um, automatically. As you can see, um, the resolution on this thing is not... Let's go to display settings. Resolution. 1920 by... Oh, there it is. Alright boys, we are in. As you can see, everything's working properly. Next step for me is I'm going to plug this thing into the internet and uh, do a Windows update on it and then install the drivers on it. Uh, so let's see. Alright guys, I'm plugging in the Ethernet cable on this thing. It is now connected to the internet. I just gave aids to my computer. As soon as I plugged it in, networks, network. Alright, I'm gonna go to settings. I'm not familiar with Windows right now, but you have to check what it's updated. Restart required. Okay, it's, I know it's updating some stuff. Your PC needs to be restarted to finish setting up this device. Oh, that's the audio. It's installing some audio uh, drivers already. Alright guys, I'm gonna update this computer. Um, I recommend you update uh, all your computer until it says um, this computer is up to date. Once you do that, uh, you install your drivers. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Right here, I'm at the Windows update. It says updates available, last check today, 7.20 p.m. 2020, 12. Um. Alright boys, working on updates, 30% complete. Uh, this thing's almost done. Updating, it's going to restart by itself. Just let it be. Don't mess with it. Um, hopefully it works. Keep it all updated. Alright guys, I already have everything downloaded. Uh, the driver's downloaded. Uh, my next step is going to be, I already downloaded the NVIDIA. Uh, GeForce drivers for my memory for my video card. It's downloaded. Look in your um, graphics card manual for your um, driver install. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you want to go uh, back to your motherboard and see if it is overclockable for your memories. Go into my motherboard's BIOS and turn up the memory um, frequency. So you want to go to restart, shift, restart. Okay, uh, go to troubleshoot, advanced options, um, UEFI firmware settings. We're back at my motherboard settings. I'm going to click easy mode. As you can see right here, it says frequency 2400. Okay, guys. Um, you can change it to run at 2667 megahertz. Uh, that's as far as this motherboard, motherboard will take it. Unfortunately, um, I'm, I am losing megahertz on, the, on this RAM with this motherboard. In the future, I will be upgrading the motherboard to a better, faster motherboard. Overclockable once I get the knowledge to overclock and all that. But um, as you can see right here, uh, we were at 24, now we are at 2600. Change that XMP profile to profile 1 and you should be good to go. Uh, once you do that, you go to save and exit. There it is, boys. Well, that, that was the maximum speed of my memory, so there we have it, boys. This should be a clean install already. I should be able to be downloading any game and do anything um, that I want with this computer already. Everything's up to date. Everything's installed nice and clean. 